Can't miss this one. I'm Jeff Ross and thanks for joining us. But we are going to begin with a possible breakthrough in those efforts to control that massive oil spill in the Gulf. Engineers stuck a tube into the leaking pipe this weekend to siphon off some of the oil and to carry it to a ship at the surface. That strategy appears to be getting results. This morning on the Today Show, BP's chief operating officer said there's still a long way to go. This is just containing the flow. Later this week, hopefully before the end of the week, we'll make our next attempt to actually fully stop the flow, Matt. And of course, that's what everyone wants to do. Meantime, scientists are worried about a huge plume of oil underwater. One is 10 miles long and three miles wide. Dr. Reese Halter is a conservation biologist at Cal Lutheran. Uh, doctor, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jeff. While I know you're not involved in this rescue per se specifically, I do want to ask you about exactly what this means, this, this, underwater, this underwater oil plume we're hearing about, and also uh, this latest breakthrough and what your thoughts are about that. Yeah, well, first of all, as we've seen, they've got a long pipe that's gone down, uh, and they're, they, it, it's not a foolproof method, you see, because they can't hook it right up. They're pouring hot water and methanol because of the ice-like hydrates that could clog it up. So we don't know how much oil is being contained, but this huge blob, 10 miles by 3 miles by hundreds of feet thick, is really the concern for all life in the water, Jeff. Is this a good idea, uh, this tube strip? Strategy. I mean, you've been listening to this and, and BP obviously coming under a lot of fire about exactly how they've handled this. What are your thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, they got to do something. I mean, this is a last-ditch effort. I mean, really, ultimately, what we've got to do is we've got to stop this thing. It looks like it'll be seven to ten days before one of the three methods that I've heard of to contain it will happen. But, you know, it, right now, it's just still very ugly, Jeff. BP has used about 600,000 gallons of chemicals to, get, to kill the oil, in, in a way, underwater and on the surface. What do you think the long-term effects are, both the sea life and, and again, how that translates to people's jobs in that region awful we you know we do know that these dispersants are toxic in fact they're more toxic than the oil themselves we're told that it's caught what's called the summer highway which means it's in the gulf uh, loop current mm -hmm. which means it's heading towards florida and the third largest corals on planet earth and out into the atlantic and over into western europe the these this the long-term effect of this is really deleterious and awful jeff all right, we'll continue to watch it. Dr. Reese Halter, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. We'll turn now overseas in Thailand.